Greetings from Cuyahoga Welcome Falls. Back. My name is Jehovah. Welcome to War of Rights. It's Saturday and we're hanging out with the UEC. So special thanks to everyone in the UEC for once again allowing us to hang out and watch their excellent battles. And lucky for us in this battle today, I've invited along our special friend Schimmel Finnig, retired major of the 8th Alabama, also known as the Alabama German Legion. Thanks for joining us here today, Schimmel. What an introduction, thank you. Cross, I always like to be here with you. Yeah, always a lot of fun to have your uh, knowledge and experience to help us figure out these battlefields. We're at the Otto and Sherrick farm. Last time we were here, what a bloodbath. The uh, artillery of the Confederates really made a mess of the Union, although they were able to come back and win it. Yeah, almost a Pelha move. They have one artillery piece holding back the whole unit. And speaking of that artillery, we've got Confederates already up on the hill with the gun. I imagine this is 8th Florida's. Nope, this is going to be Jenkins Brigade. We have on the Confederate side today Jenkins Brigade and 8th Florida. On the Union side, looks like 1st Virginia as well as the 51st New York. Now, we're familiar with the 51st New York, not as familiar with the 1st Virginia. I think this might be the first time they've made it to the channel. So welcome everybody from the first uh, Virginia here today. Wasn't uh, the artillery operate last time as well by Jenkins Brigade? Uh, they had one, yes, and then the uh, Confederates had another, or I'm sorry, the 8th Florida had another under Fritch. So I'm sure that's what they're going to be doing today as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see Fritch up on the hill right now also. Yeah, by the way, greetings, First Virginia, from my side as well. I'm not familiar uh, either, so... So are you able to get your recording going? Uh, unfortunately not. Okay, that's So fine. you won't be able to see some footage from me, so sorry, guys, but uh, Open Broadcast Software says no, so we have no choice. All right, well, the guys are getting ready to go. It's 42. We got two minutes left in the battle. Just a little bit of history right here. The Otto and Sherrick farm set on a part of the battlefield that actually happened late in the afternoon. So this would have been as the Union were pushing up from Burnside's Bridge on their way into Sharpsburg. Uh, this is an area that they would have passed through uh, in order to, uh, to get to that spot. Uh, there was some Confederate resistance. As a matter of fact, Jenkins Brigade, this is where they actually fought on this battlefield, trying to hold the Yankees back from pinning Robert E. Lee and, and really cutting him off from the Potomac River and trapping them inside of Maryland. So this is a very desperate fight for the Confederates in the late afternoon of the battle. And Schimmel, from a strategic standpoint, how do you approach this as, well, not only as the Confederates, but as the Union? As the Union. Um, actually, I really liked this map when playing as Union and attacking, uh, of course, and at the time where the artillery was not uh, present at all. So much might have been changing. Um, but I approach this always with a first stance on that stone world. You know that stone world on the right Yankee side? Yep, looking at it now. It's all, you know, it's almost a guaranteed uh, safe point because if you take a look at the Confederate side, they have not much be, uh, to hide behind. They have this house, yeah, of course, um, but yeah, they have those wood fences. But if you have the choice between a stone wall and a wood fence, you know, always go for the stone wall and it pays out on time. So one unit just shooting down, shooting down, shooting down, they can pretty much do anything against it. They can't hit them actually. They have much less cover and with much less tickets. In the meantime, another company can go f uh, either for the other side or for the, for the same side. In the time they have their heads down and approach their uh, standpoint from the right direction, for example, and circle them. Then they come for, come, for example, from the right and just encircle them there. They have to stay their heads down or they get hit by the Union on uh, the stone wall. If they keep their heads up and uh, defend against those uh, 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 charges, let's call them that way, the Yankees can just uh, shoot, shoot them down there. So it's tricky, but All there right. are tricks to fight against it. Well, the clock has started and we've already got guys on the move. Jenkins Brigade looks like they're heading uh, back toward the house, in behind the house, and 8th Florida looks like they're moving to the Confederate right. Uh, that is Hogg's preferred position at the beginning 
of this battle. With only a 2v2 this weekend, uh, the TGV off uh, doing their own uh, special event, we're going to see something quite different here. And it looks like the Venom and the 51st going toward the stone wall and the 1st Virginia swinging left to get down the road. And artillery already engaged. That's a really interesting strategy from the uh, JB right there to not even try to defend that wall because of the of the Yankees present there on the stone wall, but uh, to move uh, in the side where you can defend against a probable a probable charge attack. But you know the weakness is now they are vulnerable to a left side attack on the Yankee side. I'm I'm gonna stick to the more of the Yankee side, um, you say more to the Confederate side. The if they would the focus now both on the left the side, they easily overwhelm the Confederate unit there, which is uh, a Florida. Oh, well, maybe not so easy, but... <laughs> I think they may be worried about this artillery. It looks like the 51st already getting shots off. Uh, at least two cannonballs coming out of the 51st artillery uh, already. That's Turnlings and the guys, uh, Yudi and uh, Yutli, and we got Silver Smurf and right. Captain Lizard. Jesse's yeah, here. There's Private Utley, so they're already on the gun. First Virginia hiding behind the little uh, barn here. 51st, the larger unit is on the uh, Union right side. So the thing is, the Union could right now, as far as I see it, just move straight onto that fence in the middle. You know, if anyone could do anything against it, it could just move in the point right now. Well, and it's so funny. The yeah, there's such a large... Point, yeah. Yeah, they're such a large unit, and right now they're not even using the cover of the stone wall, choosing instead using the house's cover from that artillery, shooting down on the Florida. You know, if I were the, the Serpent Brigade or 51st, I would just move through straight forward to that, uh, to that fence over there. It's open. You have nothing opposing them. You have that first Virginia who could take care of the 8th Florida if they move to intercept, and that JB won't be able to be there in time. Yeah, JB. Oh, no. Yeah, no, now they changed position because uh, the Southern Brigade has revealed their location through that volley. But yeah, you know, sometimes time is uh, timing is uh, the most important thing. Probably uh, start with a shootout here, so yeah. Yeah, and JB's taking a familiar position behind the shit houses up on the hill there. And looks I'm like... not entirely sure Ooh. why the 51st is standing there in the open, why they have a stone wall on their right. Dude, I missed it, but Fire. I'm over Fire. here at the barn with the 1st Virginia, and all I see are five, four or five men and a lot of bloodstains. It looks like they've already had a direct hit by uh, Confederate artillery. Oh, and the 51st artillery, another direct hit on Confederate artillery. I saw a big blood spray over there. So these guns are really effective early on. Oh, there's just a case on here and a gun and no people. Actually, not that, not sure if they have uh, a gentleman's agreement or something, but instead there's of one. moving to the fence, the 51st decided to stand there in the open and their men dropping like flies with no cover at all. And the Confederates now have to better cover, of course. Oh, there's a glitch here. Oh, yeah, I see him dropping. There's a glitch from my position. None of the Union are wearing hats. They're all bald. <laughs> Why That's not? hilarious. No, it's 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 COVID nineteen time. By the way, is it word right that no hair stylists have open? I, I, I don't know the correct word. I think it's barbers or something. <laughs> Barber, um, yeah. You know the, the people that cut your hair. Yeah, barbers. What what what, what are they called in the U.S.? Barber. Barber. All right, yeah. I got it right. So, uh, are barbers allowed to open in the U.S.? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Different places oh, have German, different rules. Germany, yeah. not since November. <laughs> yeah, we, we're not as locked down uh, as some other countries. But uh, there are, some places are worse than others. You know, we just had a new election, so there's a new party in town, and so the rules are changing slightly as well. Yeah. We'll no, it's, it's a trade-off. We have, we have far worse haircuts in Germany, but lower numbers. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I, I saw one of them drop. Left. Well, lower numbers in population as well. Right? It's 330 true. 330 million in America. <laughs> not, not, not make the self in the corona the, the debate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all people can talk about these days. But yeah, First yeah, but Virginia. Actually, actually, nothing is happening right now. So. <laughs> yeah. First Virginia is still hiding behind this barn, although it's painted with their blood. I'm kind of curious to see how long they're going to hang out behind here. 
before no, they get a move not, on. It's not uh, bulletproof. They can actually get through it, through the through house. And Captain Jordy of the First Virginia. You know, I used to play with a guy named Jordy. Oh, it's, it's Captain. It's, it's Jordy. Yeah, I used but, to play with him as well. But it, I don't know if this is the same Jordy. He was with the Thirty Third Virginia way back in the day. I'll know if I hear his voice. Okay, now Fifty First has decided to move. They're on the right hand side. Venom's got him on the fence. We know this position as a major bombardment in the last battle. Where's the JB at the moment? And 8th right, uh, Florida has moved to the point of contention. And right now I have no idea why the... Oh yeah. Yeah, because the 8th Florida has occupied the camp. So what's going on with the 1st Virginia right now? Because they have no enemy. Yeah, 1st Virginia were hiding behind the barn and they were kind of content to stay there. They're still there at the moment. In the meantime, nothing happened. We can make a little of uh, a lesson for people. Uh, please uh, zoom in on the uh, first Virginia positions over there on these two houses. Yep, I'm on it now. Uh, you see the difference. One house has stones, one house has wood, you know? You can f shoot through the wood house, but not through the stone house. So if they would have hid it behind that stone house, that would be totally safe. Yeah, Just and they're... Small. You can you can tell that they're new to the UEC. They're still trying that peekaboo shit. They'll pop out, take a shot, and then run back. <laughs> not working in UEC events, bros. Not 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 effectively. Although they do have the backs of the Eighth Florida, and the Florida really don't know that they're uh, there. So I'm sure. Fifty-first has just been picket charged. Oh, JB came after him. Okay, I see Fifty-first running away. Yeah, so it was my bad humor. So just just to say that they were destroyed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Did they get hit by artillery? I totally I, missed yeah. it. No, don't worry. It's, it's my German humor. <laughs> and you know, right now the first Virginia is making their assault, but um, you can tell from now on that it's gonna be bloody and and fail because uh, there was no cooperation. First, the first attack, then the then the first Virginia right now. First Virginia unsupported, going straight into it. And the Florida picking them up, trying to get to the fence before they get here. Fire coming in, and Hog getting the boys into the safety of the road. Virginia on the other side of the road, and Hog on the move. All right now, it's been all good for the Confederacy. Yeah, flagman going down. So they're getting dropped. They're dropping a few of them anyway. Hog back to his original position, shooting down the road. And Virginia getting the hell out of there. I don't blame them. Legs. No, eight Florida, Mighty 88 stuff there. Don't, don't mess with them. So they won't get surprised that easily. <laughs> well, the main yeah, thing. You always consider that they are probably faster than yourself. So. Yeah, they're, they're good. But the hard part about this position for Hog and the 8th Florida is the 51st guns are staring right down this road at them. Yeah, they are. It's true. Turnling's boys are no joke. Ever, but they don't need to. I think they just repelled the first Virginia and they could now retreat, right? Yep, and yeah, uh, Florida is backing it. off. Yeah, now would be the turn for the eight Florida to retreat behind their uh, fences. And they're doing it right now, right? Well, no? they now they did a. Uh, they turned right back around again. They did a whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm usually going behind that uh, second fence over there you see in the house. There you, you have a good view and uh, reach the forward fence in time. And Hog moving him out. You know this man likes to be in the heat of the battle. He does. And 51st moving him back into position on the left side of the Confederates. And By the way, no offense, but are these guys even communicating on the Union side with themselves? They seem, to, they seem to make just single actions one by the other. It's hard to say, but Hog's reacting the same way as he did last time. He's coming back to the point of contention. And you can probably do this because now First Virginia is sleeping. Yes. Yeah, they are. No, nope, First, uh, seems, to, uh, seems to be always the same. One unit attacking by themselves, and the Confederacy is able to pick them out one after the other. Well, and it's tough. You know, the the First Virginia is new to the competition, so they're not as uh, used to fighting each other the way that we are uh, on a weekly basis. So it's going to be tough for those guys to catch up. And it is leaving the 51st on an island by themselves, but they are a large unit. Let's see if they can take on... They should probably try to move to the to the fence to the left and make volley fires. 
Yeah, yeah currently I mean, they're. Oh, they should have the artillery the pieces. Oh, and then they stopped. And now they're moving back. <laughs> I'll tell you this though, it looks like the uh, 51st artillery really made an impression on the uh, Confederate artillery because they're ignoring the infantry at this point and they're just firing at each other. Which is pretty hilarious. The grass seems to be quite healthy on that fence, right? They're doing okay right now. But yeah, the first uh, looks like First Virginia is taking a little bit of that, but it, it's mostly the artillery piece of the 51st, who've moved over into the courtyard by the barn behind the First Virginia, who's uh, still hiding behind the wood house. Five more shell. And the thing is, they're not even gaining something from really? it. You know, they're just walking around, and they don't and they don't get a solid volley out there. Fire. The tactic. And in that, in that kind of game, you need, you need solid volleys coming out one after the other. Up, so a bit and a bit yeah. their, form, their formation, if you take a look at the formation of the Virginia, because they are hiding behind that uh, house and uh, moving and moving and moving, they don't get a solid formation nor a solid volley out. Yeah, they're taking advantage of the fact that the 8th Florida has, only has eyes for the 51st. And so they're kind of popping out, trying to get a shot on the flank. But it's a long way away and it's very hilly. And not being very effective at this point. Yep. Eighth Florida shooting into the 51st, knocking the flag down one more time. You know, we we have to be uh, honest with them so they can learn from all the, all these things. So. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. But it's it's you know for the viewers out there that don't know any better, it's it's hard to judge them too harshly since they're new to the events. Yeah, of course. 51st in a tight spot here. They're. Oh, Jenkins Break hey, coming down the hill right into the 51st. They're in major trouble now. Yeah. Lieutenant Colonel Dishonor bringing the Jenkins Brigade right into the 51st's flank. Oh, artillery Ooh. hitting. It, I'm not sure if it was more friend or friendly fire. Yeah, it hit both armies, so I guess it really doesn't matter, huh? <laughs> well, it seems like that 51st just got dishonored. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the American flag sitting there on the ground as we speak. Private Gladiator uh, not taking the opportunity to uh, put his balls on the American flag. By the way, sorry for the dislikes you get for my new one. <laughs> no, no, never. Um, and Florida is still the, shooting into the same spot, but the 51st is completely gone. <laughs> yeah. They can't see it through the smoke. Doesn't matter how good you are, you can't stand against two full companies from two different sides for a long time. No, and they were split up on two different fences trying to create an L, but they just couldn't get it done. And First Virginia no, knocking down the flag at least. It's not really the fault of the individual units, so the, the soldiers aren't, aren't that, that worse than the others or something. It's just that they don't communicate at all, I think. I've never, I've not seen one messenger at all, or, or one guy uh, coordinating everything. So they're just doing stuff on their own, separately. And that's what's gonna kill them, if they don't stop it. Compañalista. Well, and I'm hanging out here with the First Virginia now. They just kind of using the barn as cover, right, popping out when they can. Left. I'm waiting to hear Jordy's voice to see if this is the Jordy. <laughs> but it's hard to say. And I'm not sure what country these guys are, so if uh, you're... In the sure. first Virginia, leave us something in the comments. Tell us where you are. And I'm not even oh, checking this. Oh, another large <laughs> artillery. In the first Virginia. Hey, man. Uh, Hog Senior, I appreciate you being here. Hardy, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, sorry, I haven't even been looking at the chat. It's been over to my left. Just been watching the game. I'll try to get better on that going forward. First Virginia just got blasted to pieces by a shot. Yeah, I caught that at the corner of the uh, of my eye there. Ready and fire. So Virginia, you know, doing what they can, I guess. 
Again, it's going to take them a little while to get up to speed to uh, the tactics of these guys, but they'll get it sooner or later. By the way, if one of the uh, Virginia guys uh, watching, some some things you could do over there um, is either to move to the left on that wood fence over there in the uh, left cow, where you have you can shoot more solid volleys, uh, you have better side, shoot more volleys, and have almost the same cover. Or you could move to the stone house in front of you where you have much, much better cover. And yeah, just try to communicate with the 51st. It's always, it's always best to coordinate with your mates. Otherwise, you, will, you won't be able to achieve anything you see events. It's really, really tough. So always communicate with your uh, friendly companies. Well, they're moving out, so taking off, uh, going across the road into the field. They're going toward that artillery. I think they are tired of getting blasted. And they're going to attempt to go right into the mouth of an artillery piece. We'll see how this works out. Not sure if they have Lord Canister. Hard to Ooh. say, but oh man, 51st Ooh, artillery are fire. deadly. And you can see there's only a couple Confederates left here, and the Virginia boys coming in. Oh, Hardy is coming. And the Q-tips are running away. There's Fritch. <laughs> Doing their best, so Virginia getting some uh, getting some well needed morale for the men, pushing away our artillery piece there. Uh, they're gonna have to hold it if they don't want those guys coming back. And the 51st has moved back into uh, Jenkins Brigade up the hill, missed that charge. You see now, 8 Florida is going to intercept the first Virginia, and they're gonna they're not gonna kill them if they reach them in time. But they need to watch their backs. 51st has wiped out the Jenkins Brigade. Oh, haven't even noticed. And now, yet Florida going up the hill to defend the guns, and the Virginia retreating back into the rocks here. But the 51st are in the backyard of the Confederates, so we're going to see if uh, Hogg and the boys are able to pick them up. Right now, defending the guns, they're going to give the uh, Confederate guns time to... Put some heat Seems down like on these boys. 50, 51st New York is doing the Hannibal move right now, not building up on their success. Jordy moving men straight into the face of the 8th Florida. This is suicide. What yeah, can they do? <laughs> totally. Fire first, Virginia. And they realize it now. They're all turning around and running back to the rocks. Too late, I fear. But the Union did take the advantage. The Confederates are now engaged. Yeah, but it's gonna probably going to change soon. And 51st back over on the fence line. It's a now dangerous the 51st position. Now 51st are, uh, are building up on their uh, success. Livington has reached the house. Now the 8th Florida is in real, real trouble if the JB is not there to reinforce the time. Yeah, they've come back and they're in the backyard here. They're coming in behind the 8th Florida. Does the Florida see it? They're coming back this way as well. Florida crossing the road back in, but they've got their backs turned to the 51st. They need to move right now and get to the fence as quickly as possible. Pincer movement by the Union. 8th Florida being pinned in from the 51st on one side and the 1st Virginia from the other. So the 51st outflanked the 8th Florida and then get outflanked by JB and 8th Florida. And 8th Florida turning around to face the 51st and the 51st leaving the area. Now 51st lands are in the air. But the Florida now have their backs turned to the 1st Virginia who's coming across the fence and charging into the yard. Not sure actually but I haven't taken the point in the time. I don't know what's going on here. This is ultimate confusion. We got Florida yeah. moving out to their position in the up on the hill by the artillery. We got First Virginia in the yard. Tenant Colonel Dishonor on the front line with his Colt. And JB's back at it now. Fifty first, pull him back. Yeah, they're at the white picket fence that the Confederates usually try to hold in this battle, but JB up on the back fence. And first Virginia <clears throat> firing into oh, the flank really of 8th oh. Florida. Now the 8th Florida is in real trouble. Well, they just get, got outflanked and they can't easily get to the JB right now. Well, they're going to have to make a decision if they're going to push through the Virginia here. What are the first Virginians doing right now? 
They're oh, on, what? yeah, they're on the fence line trying to put some fire. Whoop, they just oh. moved. They left. Best of just pulled back. Keep that line. Yeah, pulled back to the house. But in doing so, they leave the 8th Florida in time and the opportunity. Yeah, 8th Florida getting up on the road on the fence line, and they're going to pour fire into the picket fence area. Hey, blow, boys. Hey, blow. Now both are engaged. That's right. Good volley by the Floridians. But the 51st... First have the upper hand. Yeah, 51st also able to shoot into this position. And we'll see what Jenkins' brigade is able to do here. They're pushing down the fence line. They're going to put some pressure on the 51st. So Jenkins' brigade in the uh, backyard by the shit houses, pour, pouring fire into the 51st, knocking down, down the flag once again. Hey, west, west, west. That's right. All right, Florida, really need to get those first Virginia brigade there. Fire. Yeah, first Virginia, you gotta like it. They've been aggressive here. Although yeah. they're still trying to get a defensive position they there. They shouldn't have left their position. They had a really big really strong position over there. And with that retreating, they enabled the 8th Florida to have a good position on their own. And they're back into the uh, hiding position behind the uh, big brick house. Yeah, now 8th Florida needs to charge the 1st Virginia. <clears throat> well, the 51st and the 1st Virginia putting some holes in the 8th Florida. There's a lot of dead men here. So they're going to have to get their numbers up. I think JB is dwindling as well. Oh, 51st on the move. Up the hill toward JB. JB moving yeah, away. JB needs to pull back. <clears throat> That's understandable. Well, Jenkins Brigade wanted to go for the 1st Virginia, but it was a ploy, and it brought the 51st right up into their uh, original position. Here comes Jenkins Brigade. All right. Now I'd flow it out. Should move into the part of contention cloud from the NPCC. And, oh, they're doing this right now. Oh, yep. I, I know my heart. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jenkins Brigade rounding the corner, attacking the 51st, but it was a strung out effort. Oh, and yeah, they asked that 8th Florida volley. Ah. 51st hanging on. And we got Sergeant Major George running away with the flag. Oh, another artillery blast hitting the 51st. <clears throat> So lots of movement by all these companies. Yeah. Right now, the Union is in trouble again. It's flopping position. And the Union is encircled. And they have Confederates on two flanks. Across JB is right now regrouping in the rear. Yep. And the 1st Virginia will be able to testify on the accuracy of the 8th Florida muskets. Because they are dropping oh, like yeah. flies. <clears throat> and we know these eight Floridians are no fun well, he, he, uh, when they fight. He, 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 so they are that's good shooters. That's that's five tickets for us. Flagman going down again. But 51st, I think, has a good position as well on their own. I'm looking around. 51st might still be in the courtyard. It's all depending on JB nope. right now. 51st back on the fence line once again. JB gets to uh, crash the first Virginia before they retreat. Oh, right. oh okay, here come Hog. Right. Hog in the 8th Florida, not going to give the 51st time. They're coming around on the flank. 51st sees them. Ah, uh, first Virginia is coming to reinforce. Now Hog will have a really hard time. Not sure if he sees it. No, they're still looking at 51st. First Virginia sneaking up on the left-hand side of Hog and the boys. They'll know it when the musket balls come in. Unfortunately, they missed opportunity from the JB, and now <clears throat> 8th Florida has to fight against two. Well, the 51st pretty much ran away. They're back in the rocks there. Yeah, but Hodge just says, no, I'm not going to fight this way. I'm going to pull back, and yep. that's a wise move. Yep, smart leader getting his men into a safe position. And JB still back there. I guess getting their numbers back together. Yeah, so now there is both but we got 15 minutes in the battle. Both armies engaged and uh, no clear winner. I'm not, I'm not sure if Hawk sees that the JB gets attacked right there. Yeah, the JB is being attacked by the 51st here. Because now would, now would be a Florida last time. 
But here they won't be able to be there in, in, in time to reinforce. Yeah, 51st using their numbers. Ooh, another artillery blast. 51st using their numbers to really uh, push the JB around, although the JB getting the upper hand in this charge. They're still they here. Are. They're still here. First Virginia. Damn, against two companies. Yeah, and right now the there's... Full of the first and first Virginia. And right now there's only first Virginia left. Jordy and the boys coming around the corner, but... Come on, Hawk. <laughs> Ooh, more start. artillery. Oh, we well, need to be neutral. <laughs> there's just Always not much left. Always tend to be with the 8th Florida in mind. <laughs> you have to apologize. <laughs> and 51st making their way back to the fence one more time. Hog in the 8th Florida waiting for them. And here they come. I think they had no opportunity seeing, uh, no possibility seeing that charge coming. Aim. Hey. Uh, Quickly. Aim. Right, and we're going to have simultaneous volleys here. Ooh, lots of 51st going down. Florida very accurate today. Yeah, but 51st are good shooters as well. Yes, they are. We'll see. We're looking good. We're looking good, yeah. Hog and Polly Hot trying to keep the morale of the men up. Company, <laughs> take you see the you see the ship over there, second left turn partner with you and kindly step out of the barn. Nice try though. <laughs> well the first Virginia now on the fence line by the shit houses. I'm not sure how much of a angle they can get on the Florida from here, but right now Florida looking down two regiments. Yeah, right now Union is doing pretty good. They have the uh, ticket up ahead. Yeah, 13 minutes to go, and the Confederates are taking losses, Fire. but that red line is fully red. At, at the moment, actually, it changed. At the start, Union hasn't cooperated uh, very good by the Confederacy have. Right now, Confederates are not uh, are not coordinating properly together, and Union are supporting themselves constantly. So, yeah, it's <clears> of <throat> change, and you can see how it, how it changed. They're now cooperating more, and now Union has the upper hand. Yeah, Virginia coming down to the fence line, trying to give some more support to the uh, 51st. Oh, but they're coming into the courtyard. Look at this. I'm, I'm not sure why they just stand in front of those two bullets. They're just standing right in the middle of two <laughs> regiments shooting at each other, and they're going in two different directions. <laughs> say, say what you want, but the 1st Virginia has boards. <clears throat> I'm not sure if, it's, if it was, uh, yeah. If I, if I were... Uh, a really, really bad guy would say they would just get more uh, brain than boards right now. But we have to say they had boards in doing so. Well, but, yeah. I mean, imagine, course, imagine walking. jumping into a, you know, to this kind of event that these guys have been doing this for years together. They're jumping in. It's got to be like the first day of training camp in the professional football league. Everything's just going so fast. But just so right, there, there are two. Two uh, units ch changing volleys that just move straight in the middle. <laughs> what can go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, Virginia now have moved behind the 51st, yeah, yeah, and they're out in the uh, yard Ooh, there, the yeah, going toward really the stone wall. Yeah, going toward the stone wall. Where is JB? JB looks like they're coming down the hill onto the 51st, who left the area. Oh, no, it's bayonet. But now the first Virginia. Oh no, they're they're not drawing the Florida away from the point. A Florida is going for the fifty-first because now the fifty-first is unsupported. There is no fifty-first oh, left. Yeah. Jenkins' brigade has mopped them up. There's one guy. All right. <laughs> Forget about the fifty-first. <clears throat> Where are the Floridians firing at? Yeah, hopefully not at the Jenkins' brigade. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Server crash. Oh, not for me. No, well, but you're not recording, so that's gonna suck. Oh. Reloading. Let's move, move, move. Let's move. <gasps> Bypass left, march. Company, halt, left base. Reloading, fix bayonets. Left face, reload, bayonets. Hold the behind us. Shit. Here we go, um, here we go, here we go. Great loads, right face, double quick forward mark. Right, right face! face. Run, run, run. Let's move, get the fuck out of here, boys. Holy shit. Yeah.
Where our unit is at? So, but see. I reload my unit. Where's our unit? We're gonna wait for these guys. Where's our unit? Yeah. Yeah. Any idea, boys? Yeah. I, d I don't know, maybe. Uh, we're dead. Who? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, it's yeah. Yeah, yeah, it looks like. Like, bearer. Uh, I think there will be the cannons. Yeah, well, they're falling, falling to my left, boys. If you can see them, the shock. Well, our, our, our boys are not spawning, where are they? No, south. South? Right south? Yeah. Uh, yeah, see forward. Right face. Double quick, forward march. It's left, march. I just yelled at those guys hiding behind the barn to fucking do something. Yeah, they're trying to wipe them now out. Now they're going to be tortured. Where are our yep. guys at? I'm trying to escape. I'm uh, trying to escape. I put into line. March. Into line. March. <laughs> oh boy. Halt. Halt. Double quick forward. Double quick forward. March. JB or is that our guys? It's JB. JB. Company halt. Oh, on the fifth. Stand up. Right over here, right over here, boys. Who made this? Who made this? Right here, boys. Right here. Reload that Florida. Opa, I'm at them. The guy is starting again. Stop playing. Stop playing. My face. Left face. Start again. Okay, we are breaking charge. We need to get on point, guys. We need to get on point. 